Hello, once again, this is Brother Teacher. A friend of mine and YouTube follower asked me a question. How do I lose weight and maintain my weight, even though I've been counting my calories? And I think I've been doing a good job, he says. Well, first of all, calories are units of energy. And it is important to have calories because they're in our foods uh, and we need them to survive. How be it, it is not necessarily a good idea to count calories because a lot of times you can be deceived by the numbers and there are several types of calories and a lot of people don't know this but I will leave a link in the description below so you can follow that as well uh, it's more important to watch what you eat not so much calories so ask yourself the question am I eating junk food or am I eating fresh natural food we are natural what we put into our temple into our bodies should be natural now that's difficult for virtually all of us because we grew up and we have grown up into a western society and we call this america that is the junk food capital of the world so what i'm saying to you in essence is this we have to try to change our behavior our lifestyle we have to try to get away from the junk food diet it's okay to do things in moderation moderation just simply means have self-control don't do too much of that thing that is bad for you because we have that psyche that we have to have junk food so I don't think a lot of us are going to eliminate everything that's bad for us out of our diets but if we can eliminate the vast majority of it, the better for us. So I'm encouraging you to try and eat fresh fruits and vegetables. If you eat vegetables, eat them raw or steamed. Don't boil them because you lose the nutritional value when you boil your vegetables too long. Your fruits, eat as much as you possibly can. They should consume the majority of your meals for a day. You're not supposed to eat junk food all day or intermittently and eat one uh, piece of celery or one apple. That's not doing you any good at all. If we take it as a circle, a whole, about two thirds of that circle should be vegetables and fruit. And one third or less should be the junk food. Probably one fourth is more accurate. You don't want junk food to monopolize your diet at, at all. And I think, and I give everyone credit that's watching this video and say that you're intelligent enough. I think you know what junk food is. It is anything that is depraved or deprived of nutrition. If it doesn't have vitamins and minerals and the other necessary elements in it, such as enzymes, to help this thing called the human body exist and to thrive, then it's junk food. And the other thing you want to do also is make sure that you drink plenty of fluids. And your fluids, I'm not talking about beer, I'm not talking about alcohol, and I'm not talking about coffee and uh, Pepsi Cola. I'm talking about water, purified or distilled or free of the toxins that you get out of your city water supply. I'm talking about fresh water. Get a filter system for your home. If you don't already have one, you need fresh water. Your body identifies what's real, okay? And the other thing that you wanna do is get fresh air and you wanna make sure that you stop taking baths in polluted water. Get a filter on your shower head if you possibly can. And it's attainable, you can do it. All you have to do is want to do it. Now, getting back to what we should eat, as uh, human beings I did say you want to eliminate the junk food diet and let that be very very sparsely uh, considered in your your everyday diet and everything else that you eat should be primarily vegetation uh, in the form of fruits and vegetables again now I want to say this also as far as those people who enjoy eating meat try to eat 
the least amount of beef as you possibly can and you will save your heart a whole lot of trouble down the road. I know people and have known people who have had heart issues and they were big beef eaters. And if you want to eat meat, eat it in moderation. Don't let it be necessarily in every single meal that you eat. You don't have to have meat like that. I know it's psychological, um, excuse me, it's psychologically difficult, you know, for some of us to wrap our brain around that because, you know, we've habitually done it all of our lives or most of our lives eating meat, but you can do it. I'm not saying and trying to advocate being a vegan or a vegetarian, you know, that's not my power to change you. Uh, you make your own changes. All I am is just simply a, a guide, all right? And the other thing I want you to understand is this. Control how much you eat. Your stomach is the size of your fist, approximately one liter, okay? That is about a quart. Now, if your stomach is the size of your fist, why are we eating this much food? You ask the question, or I ask the question to you, what's the answer? The capacity of your stomach is about one liter, the size of your fist, as I just said, but it has the capacity to stretch because it's a muscle. It can reach up to four liters, which is a gallon about. Can you imagine putting this much in your stomach at one time? This is orange juice. Can you imagine drinking all of this sitting here on an empty stomach? Just drink all of this down to the bottom. I hope you can't imagine that because it's not normal. It is not natural for you to do that. You are not supposed to have a stomach the size of that container I just showed you. So why are you stretching your pint stomach this far? Why are you doing that? Don't do it. But the reason that you're doing it is because you're putting all of this non-nutritional foods or so-called foods into your body and your body is still hungry. That's why we say we're hungry because we're putting junk food in and your body doesn't recognize junk food because it's not real. But once you start putting fresh fruit and fresh vegetables into your body and drinking fresh water, fresh fruit juice, real 100% fruit juice, and everything natural, your body will identify it, it will assimilate it, and then it will appreciate you, and then you will see the results. You will stop having asthmatic issues, uh, heart disease, lung diseases, uh, hypertension, and uh, what's the other thing, diabetes, and things like this. All of this is a result of bad life choices. So when you eat the wrong things, your body's going to pay for it down the road if it doesn't pay for it right now. So understand that it's a process. So I hope that this video was of some benefit. Uh, I left something in the description box below in the form of a URL or a uh, link for you to check on the calories, uh, something a little bit more in depth about calories. Uh, and let me know what your feelings are about this video. And if you found it of some value, please like it. And that was all. And I'll see you in the next video. So long.